Hello everyone. I have made this video to explain the concepts behind taking structural measurements in the field. In this video, we will see the basic concept of measuring uh, structures in the field. Uh, we'll see the British and the American right hand rules and how they apply. Uh, we'll see how we can take structural measurements using the deep and deep direction method and the conversion of data from British right hand rule to deep direction and the American right hand rule to deep direction deep. So collecting structural information uh, can be done using two ways. There is um, the right hand rule whereby you will express your data in strike and dip and the, the other method is uh, using the dip direction then dip and you will express your data into in deep deep direction. But did you know that there are two right hand rules? There is uh, the first rule which is called the British right hand rule and um, the second one is American right hand rule. So what you should note is that, uh, let's see, this is uh, the direction. We start counting the degrees from north uh, clockwise. So for both uh, uh, right hand rule and deep direction we count um, the readings from the north so the values with the reference to the north increase clockwise all strikes and dips direction measurement start from the north see strike uh, for example if i want to measure a strike i will start from the north arrow uh, which will be zero and uh, i'll go clockwise and the angles will increase as i go so it's 90 180 270 and 360 or zero so let's see what the British and American right hand rules are. So the British right hand rule uses the right hand. The index finger points to the deep direction. You see the index finger. So we have made an assumption that these are the beds and they, uh, they are dipping uh, in this direction. So this is the deep direction and the strike. So the index finger points in the deep direction and this is the angle of dip and this is strike so how do you uh, how do you put your compass uh, for example I'm using Sunto uh, uh, putting my compass I will put the compass in such a way that I can read the strike uh, which is um, in the strike direction so you see I uh, put the compass where I can read the strike in the strike direction but with um, American right right hand rule which is sometimes called the right arm rule so it's the same uses the right hand but uh, the index finger now points toward the strike you see the in the British right hand rule the index finger points towards the deep but in American writing hand rule, the index finger points towards the strike. The thumb, the thumb points to, uh, towards the deep direction. You see this, the thumb here points towards the deep direction. So in American right hand, in, in American right hand rule, if I'm uh, using the compass Sunto, you see I'll, uh, the Sunto will point towards the strike. Which means, uh, let me see in plan, in plan in the British right hand rule, 
you see this is your north and uh, this is the deep direction and this is the strike and this is how I put my my hand but uh, using uh, using you see the, the angle is you start measuring the angle from north uh, coming this way but with American right hand rule you see and the thumb po points towards the deep direction and um, the index finger points towards the strike and you see now uh, the strike will be uh, all this you see this yeah the yellow right the, the yellow circle coming to um, coming to where uh, the strike is using the American right hand rule so this is how you put your sunto for British right hand rule you will put it like this um, where you want to take your reading will be pointing towards the the strike in this case the strike was this direction uh, you see the way the hand is uh, in the British right hand rule we see that the finger uh, the, the thumb points towards the the strike direction and the index finger points towards the dip so the reading here will be 120 see uh, if I start counting from north uh, here is 90 so it should be 120 somewhere here but with American right hand rule if I start reading from north see because the index finger points towards the strike if I start reading from north uh, then I'll go clockwise uh, it's 90 180 270 so, so it's 3 300 you see what happens here there's a difference uh, of 180 between the American and the British right hand rule. So if someone gives me the data in American, uh, which have been taken in, uh, using American right hand rule, what I will do is subtract uh, 180 to convert them into British right hand rule. Same uh, if someone gives me the data in uh, take, taken by British right hand rule. I'll just add 180 to convert to convert them to American right hand rule. So there's another um, way where someone can express uh, when where someone can can take readings and uh, record the readings uh, in using uh, the deep and uh, deep direction method. So in this case, uh, you express your data uh, using the the direction of, of the of the dip of the either bedding or any structure or foliations, any structures that you are you are be it fault, faulting or or uh, shear or anything. So in this case, for example, uh, the British. Uh, so, so in this case, you see, uh, this will be the dipping direction, and this is the dip, the angle of dip. Uh, this would have been the strike, but we are not uh, taking strike measurements. We are taking dip direction measurements. Therefore, in this case, our beds are dipping um, uh, in this direction. Therefore, the angle here will be, uh, you will start counting from north, 0, 90, 180. Then it should be somewhere here, which is 210. See, very simple. So if someone gives me uh, data in uh, British, uh, data taken by British right hand rule, what I'll do to convert them into Deep, deep, direct, deep direction deep I will just uh, add 90 and if someone gave me the data collected using American right hand rule to convert them into deep deep direction deep 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 direction and deep I will just subtract 90 so so not if you are using the British right hand rule to convert the readings to Deep direction deep just add 90 to the strike 
if you are using American right hand rule to convert the reading to deep direction deep, subtract 90 from the strike. The deep angle does not change during these conversions. Um, if you like my video, um, just press like. Uh, you can share it with your friends and subscribe. Thank you for watching and don't miss the next video which will show you how to plot the structural information in MapInfo and ArcMap. Thank you.